If Iran's leaders do not seize this opportunity, then I will be the first to call for more sanctions and stand ready to exercise all options to make sure Iran does not build a nuclear weapon. U.S. President Barack Obama during his State of the Union address last January telling the American public he will be the first to call for more sanctions to make sure Iran doesn't build a nuclear weapons program. Fast forward six months and Iran has just cut a deal with Washington for a four-month extension on negotiations for a nuclear deal that would gradually end sanctions in exchange for limits on its nuclear program. Iran and six other world powers had originally set a deadline of July 20th, but failed to come to an agreement. Political writer and commentator Tom Rogan joins us now. Tom, is this a bad idea? Yeah, I, I think the issue here is that you have a four-month extension post a deadline, and a deadline is supposed to be a, a point in which the dynamic changes either way, either for good or bad. And clearly the six-month deal failed. Mm -hmm. uh, my concern is that this four-month extension is just going to reinforce the Iranian political strategy so far, which has been to delay and to continue with the development of a nuclear program. So should the Obama administration then go forward, do you think, with, with sanctions and, and actively trying to dismantle this, this uh, uranium enrichment program? I think the sanctions have to be increased now. You know, we've tried that six-month deal. I supported that because I thought it would be an effort really to test whether the Rouhani bloc in the Iranian government had the uh, influence and independence to, and, and actually the willingness as well to pursue a serious deal. Clearly they do not. So now we have to go back to the stick away from the carrot mm -hmm. and, and try and compel Iran to a new course. You know, Rouhani, many people like to view him as a moderate. Of course, he was you know, perhaps maybe the most moderate of the six the Ayatollah was choosing from. But we have to remember who's running this country here. It's the Revolutionary Guard and the Ayatollah. And what interest do they have, or does the Obama administration think they have, in actually trying to, to dismantle their nuclear weapons program? Well, and that's the critical point, because Ayatollah Khamenei and the IRGC, the Revolutionary Guards, are clearly interested in one thing and one thing alone, which is the expansion of Iranian theological power across the region, uh, the domination and destruction of Israel, uh, the overthrow of Lebanese uh, cross-secular democracy. You know, Iraq, we see what they're doing in the south and now towards the north. So it's, it's, it's a project that is regional and authoritarian and compelled with nuclear weapons, the world mm -hmm. as well as the Middle East would have a big problem. I want to just show you a clip of John Kerry from this Sunday, him talking about his response to essentially them extending the, dead, uh, the negotiations. Watch this. Actually, Chris, uh, they're reducing their enrichment. And uh, the fact is that this is the first time in 10 years under this current deal that Iran's nuclear program is being rolled back. And I know you and others don't ever want to give the Obama administration credit for almost anything, but the fact is this is the first administration to get a rollback in those 10 years. So that was Kerry on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. Does it matter that this is the first time in 10 years, as he says, that they've actually rolled back their program? Right. I mean, the problem with that statement is that the Iranian nuclear program is fully underway still. Uh, we've seen a few little, you know, gestures from the Iranians to try and get the release of some of these sanctions, which they've achieved. But ultimately, below the surface, you think about facilities like Fordow and Iraq, there is a continuing development, and this program, you know, remains fully underway. This idea that somehow this deal provides anything more than a gesture is just simply not true. So let me ask you very quickly, which is preferable, I, in your opinion? Waiting to see if this four month, in four months they actually strike a deal or going forward with sanctions right now? I think we have to go forward with sanctions right now. The, the whole idea, Marissa, of the sixth month deal was that we can try a different path and maybe it works and you know, it creates an opportunity. But it has not worked fundamentally. A deadline is the same principle as a red line as well when you're dealing with people like Kameny. You cannot allow them to believe that they can get away with playing games, which is exactly what they're doing. And time is running out. And, you know, either the, the, the three choices we have, as I see it, are tougher sanctions now, or we run the risk of Israel launching a unilateral attack, or we allow Iran to have a nuclear weapons program that fundamentally destabilizes the Middle East. You're absolutely uh, right. So that. there's, you know.
No, I, yeah, I think you're right with that. Anyway, Tom, that's all the time, the time we have. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you.